my gosh, you wanted to give me a hug? I didn't even ask for it. And kiss. Oh my gosh, and a kiss. Oh, I'm soft because I've got lipstick on. Thank you. You take care of daddy while I'm gone? Okay, be a good boy. Hey, drive safe, mama. Bye. Bye. Love you. Getting in Joel's truck with that song playing, so, so perfect. <laughs> Joel should have been a cowboy. This is literally one of Joel's favorite songs right now. And I honestly love hearing songs that I know Joel loves. Like this song is totally him. Look up both of those songs, totally Joel. <laughs> Does this mean I like him? Okay, this is totally a good one. Joel says this all the time. My vlog is done for the day. Usually I finish editing around 11 or 12-ish, depending on the complexity of the video. Yesterday's video was actually really, really awesome, and so it took me a little bit longer to edit. And now I'm getting ready to get in the shower, which I can obviously not show you, but I wanna show you my favorite thing in the world. I don't know how many people do this, but I like taking a cold drink into the shower. I used to bring cold Mountain Dews because that was the bomb. Now it's just cold protein shakes. Sit and drink your cold drink with a hot shower. I'm gonna go shower now. Get out of here, get out. I said get out. I've got a little bit of room here that's not being utilized and I wanna really, really utilize it cause I got a lot of junk cause I got four kids. I need to find a 40 inch shelf to match that. And I think I can fit another 40 inch shelf right there. Got some stuff to get done. Show me how much gum you got in your mouth right now. That's the biggest piece of gum ever. Can you blow a bubble with it? That's a pretty pitiful bubble. You're gonna chew that while I'm gone, get it all nice and soft, and when I get back, you're gonna blow a bubble for me, okay? Okay. Bubble master. I'm very torn. Nobody makes really a 40 inch shelf. Everything's like 36 inches. These are like 48 inches, something like that. It goes up like a foot or a little bit bigger than that. So I'm either a little bit way too short or a little bit too big. Oh, and that stinks because I really want to utilize like the exact space that I have. And not only that, I really wanted to match. And this is the closest that I think I found that will match the ones that we have. I'm gonna check one more store just because once they're down there, they're down there. So I want to make sure I get what I want. This is so fun. Yes. My eyes, my eyes get tired from looking at the screen. Yeah. Don't okay. yours? Mm -hmm. My wrists start to get yeah. carpal tunnel. I'm like, click, click, click. Well, I don't know if I, I was leaning forward like this, choosing pictures for the cookbook, and I stretched, and my sternum was like, <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to say a prayer? <laughs> you really hungry, aren't you, honey? <laughs> Mom bought it, now bless it. Okay. Yesterday, I was on the phone with Ruby, and I was crying, and I, I was- so bad. I was so overwhelmed, and I was just like, we have to go down and pick up pictures for the cookbook, and, and today, I thoroughly enjoyed myself. Like, it's been work, and our brains are like, our eyes and our brain are like, exhausted, so we need some calories, <laughs> but I really have enjoyed what we've been doing today, and I feel like work goes by a lot better if you're enjoying what you're doing. I don't know. I mean, that's like a duh thing. Today's gone better than I thought it I was going to go. I think the overwhelming part is knowing you're having all these things in your head that you know are coming ahead. Actually doing it isn't as difficult as actually yeah, having it's it relieving. Yeah, having looking at your list is like overwhelming, but then when you start working through the list, it's like, okay, I'm feeling relief because I'm getting it done. Yeah. And it's turning out better than we thought it was going to Yeah, good. you guys are going to lie. <laughs> So you sat on your gum and it stuck to your pants. We gotta wash them out. Does it stuck on the chair? I'll come in and get it, okay? Okay. okay. Can I eat it? N no, we're not gonna let you eat your gum after you sat on it. That's gross. Can I eat another pair? Um, no, because you obviously can't keep gum in your mouth. Well, my hands are officially frozen. Explain to me how your gum fell out of your mouth. Oh, he just realized there's gum on his chair. I'll clean it up, okay? Look, Daddy's gonna clean it up. I was chewing it, mm -hmm. and then my mouth opened. Okay. 
and then can you demonstrate up. was it like this like yep. like that there is gum on the chair and that is a ginormous squad of gum <laughs> on your pants bud and Lincoln is not happy because this is Lincoln's chair and you got gum all over it Look, bud, I got a piece of gum out. Like, ripped a whole chunk off. I think it took a little bit of fibers with it, but Levi's are tough. If there is one trick of the trade I have learned from Bonnie, it is that tough stuff gets out everything. And this is probably a little bit more abrasive than these pants maybe need, but I feel like it's giving you the best trick. Oh, what are you doing? Getting all the gum out. Did you put that gum there? No. Did Boston do that? Is that so naughty of him? Oh, All of gum. the leftover Valentine's bubble gum gum needs to go, to go the way of the wind. Up the hole. Because it is. Gum. Gum. Why? Daddy's busy. Do you know what your mom makes me do at night? What? She makes me rub her feet. She makes me sit with her and watch movies. Oh, I'm so busy. I just don't have time. Scrub harder. Get that out. Get that stuff out. Come on, Lincoln. Want me to help you? I think we're doing pretty good. I think we've got almost all of it out. I need bubbles again. Need bubbles again? Nope, I don't think I do. I think I got it. You did it! You got it all clean, bud. Link and Roy, we did it. We got the pants clean. Now I gotta get just a little bit out of the uh, chair. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Can you believe the way he talks? Listen to this. Me and my husband wanted to thank you for the Longmire recommendation. Woo -woo! Yeah. We have started watching it and love it. You mean Longmire addiction? <laughs> Get ready, because when the seasons are over, you're going to be depressed. And you're going to go through withdrawals. And for that, I do apologize. What is wrong with me? Okay, do you guys remember when Julie was announcing if her baby was a girl or a boy? If her baby was a girl or a boy, what, what am I even saying? Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm literally losing my mind. Okay, do you remember when Julie was announcing if she was having a boy or a girl, and she was having a girl, but everyone was having boys. I had all my boys in my mind, and I was like, your first girl, and I, it was just like so comical and dumb that it was just hilarious. Well, I just sent her a Marco Polo, and I was like, Julie, you are gonna die. I am gonna have so many clothes for your baby boy next year. And I was going through and I was showing her all these old clothes that are in such good condition. I was like, not the summer that he's born, but next summer I have all these 12 to 18 month shirts. I have hats that haven't even been worn. And she, she was so sweet, she was like, thank you so much, you know that we love getting baby clothes from you. And she's like, but I don't think my girl is gonna wanna wear any of those. I was like, ah, what's wrong with me? Well, Ellie and Emily will just have to look through there and see if there's anything that they would want for their new baby boys. Wait, is Emily having a boy or a girl? Bo, is Emily having a boy or a girl? Did I just say Bo or Joel? Did I call you Bo or Joel? Bo. <laughs> Emily's having a girl. Still not having a boy. Ellie. <laughs> If I am around or I think about Bo, Joel's getting called Bo. I'm such a fruitcake. Get going, little diapy. Get going, little diapy. <laughs> If you guys enjoyed watching today's video, please give it a great big thumbs up. We always appreciate that. And we'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye. 